So they ta- started talking about uh, Roe v. Wade. And, uh, and, and they talked to Klobuchar uh, about, about Roe v. Wade. Uh, and they sent... Uh, so so she, she, made, uh, she made a statement um, saying more people support uh, a, a woman's choice. So she wants to keep funding Planned Parenthood. Good. That's very nice of you to say. Uh, I hope you actually do that. Um, and then uh, Cory Booker jumped in. Uh, still, uh, he didn't remind us that he's from New Jersey, which is a big deal. Uh, and he keeps putting his hand up about, uh, like, it's, it's like, Corey, this question's not for you, buddy. Maybe, maybe just take a back seat on this one, you know? Let, let, the, let the women answer the question first. It's about, their, it's about women's rights, so, you know, like, dude should just be supportive in that situation. To be like, okay, like, what's the... What's the decision, and how can I support you through your decision? Like that's basically where where I stand on the uh, on the abortion debate. Um, uh, and then Elizabeth Warren chimed in, uh, and she said, "Abortion rights are human rights, they're, and they're also economic rights." True, um, they are they are pretty expensive. So you know, uh, lower income people might not be able to afford. Um, an abortion and uh, and then more than that too is like they might not be able to afford the medical bills that come through with having a baby and, and I get it like there's some people that are like well you should have been more careful you should have been more careful it's like look sometimes accidents happen sometimes you're not careful right like sometimes uh, there are these things called human emotions uh, that overtake our brains and uh, and they sh- and they don't they don't make you reach for a condom and you're just like fuck it we're raw dogging tonight let's feel everything and then you know the accident happens uh, and uh, and and if you're if you're kind of a poor person then it, that's tough so there should be access for uh, women in lower income communities um, to get. Uh, get help with 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 this uh, issue and again this is sort of a thing where if you look at it through a humanitarian lens um, I think we get caught up in the lens of like we're be, we're gonna blame people for it and it's it's like it's your fault it's your fault you shouldn't be having sex which is like a bad like what no I don't think we should like cut off sex from hum- human beings uh, because then we just become like angry, horny, fucking douchebags to each other, uh, or or we or or it's just like you're out in public trying to fuck everything, and that's not a that's not a good look. That's not a good look for us, you know. And so, she didn't. Uh, <laughs> She didn't talk about uh, what Maddow asked originally, because um, Maddow's original question was, if there are Democrats that, uh, I guess there's like a Democrat, I think in Michigan or Louisiana or something along those lines, that basically said that he would sign a, a restrictive abortion bill, much like we saw in uh, Georgia, Ohio, Kentucky, Missouri, um, Alabama, um, and, and maybe other states. If there are other states, leave a comment, let me know. Um, but, uh, you know, she was like, do you think they should be kicked out of the Democratic Party? And Maddow asked that question like two or three times. And Elizabeth Warren was like, I'm not playing that game. To which I was like, that's a good move. That's a good move. Like, I, I think that's a very divisive and shit question for Rachel Maddow to ask. Um, and, it's, and it's such a childish question to ask. Uh because again it's like it's party over people it's not about it's not about the party it's about the people like we need to look at this issue through a humanitarian lens Rachel not the lens of uh, good democrats versus not so good democrats like that's a fucking dumb way to look at this shit and it creates more divide and it creates more and, and it's a propaganda question 
Hey, thanks for watching this video. Uh, this is part of a little series I do called Road Reflections, where I talk to you while I'm on tour uh, about the current socio-political environment, current news stories, uh, debates, that sort of stuff that I don't get to talk about on my podcast, Taboo Table Talk or Forkful of Noodles. It's a little bit looser. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this clip. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, you can find the full episodes on my Facebook page. Uh, you can go like Krish Mohan, uh, social vigilante and comedian. And uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Uh, share this out if you enjoyed it. Um, and another way to help uh, see more regular content is by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash krishmohanhaha. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you on the road. Hey everybody, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed the content that was discussed and the, and the type of humor that you saw in this video, then you'll probably enjoy my live stand-up comedy show. I've got live shows coming up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Madison, Wisconsin, Bloomington, Illinois, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Columbia, South Carolina, New York City, Philadelphia. I'm going to be on tour uh, in, in a whole bunch of places uh, at the end of 2019 and into 2020. Go to my website, ramennoodlescomedy.com, for my entire tour schedule. That's R-A-M-A-N, noodlescomedy.com. Check out my entire tour schedule, get your tickets there, and uh, we'll see you on the road. Thanks again.